Well, it may be called Payless, but the discount shoe store found a way to get people to pay a lot more. Right. Call it an elaborate prank or the power of marketing. Greg Argos is here with the story. Very hmm. interesting, this yeah. one. Yeah, Jess Yuki, you know, you may not realize it, but so many different factors play a part in how much you're willing to pay for a product. As a viral video shows, even how an item is displayed can make a big difference in what people will shell out for it. The list is made and you hit the mall. How do you determine what you're going to buy? The price, something pretty. I do name brand, some flashy. Apparently the way a product is marketed can make a huge difference. Where'd you get this? Just take a look at this social experiment by Payless Shoe Store. We built a fake luxury store in Los Angeles. Changed the name and filled it with shoes that normally sell for under 20 bucks. They're elegant. I just think it's so classy. The foreign sounding brand and fancy display is apparently enough to persuade those invited to the grand opening to buy the shoes for up to $600. I could tell it was made with high quality material. A 3,000% markup. From Payless. Shut up, you've got to be kidding me. I wasn't surprised at all. David Reebstein is a professor of marketing at the Wharton School of Business and says companies have mastered the art of getting you to open your wallet. People look at the surroundings and that's part of what it is that they're buying. And it's part of where we get cues. Dr. Reebstein says those cues can be as simple as how a product is packaged, where it's from. Made in France, we think it's the superior wine. Even how it's introduced to the public. Toyota could have introduced their Lexus in a Toyota showroom. Instead, they created a separate showroom, a Lexus showroom. It was designed to look more upscale. Lexus are way better than Toyotas. Now, do you know that Lexus is made by Toyota? Get out of here. Reebstein says generic brands can be very similar, sometimes even better than their name brand counterparts. It may be Nickelodeon in here. So he suggests when you're out shopping, do a little market research of your own. You Google where you can get this, what price? What's the lowest price you can pay for something? Where can you find a coupon? Now, besides Googling a product to make sure you're getting the best price, the marketing professor I spoke with says, try not to rush when you're uh, shopping. Take your time, especially when making a big purchase. But mm -hmm. during this time of year, that's very difficult. Yeah. And the retailers know that. Yeah. Yes, they do. Wow. Yes, they do. Wow. $600 for, twice, for a $20 it? pair of shoes. For a $20 pair of shoes. Please. <laughs> All in the branding and marketing. Good lesson, Greg. Thanks. Thank you,